Hello everyone, my name is Cammie. Welcome to my channel, Cammie's Corner. If you're in my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We do mainly Bath and Body Works and fragrance content with a sprinkle of Disney and lifestyle content. But in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the On The Horizon scent from the Bath & Body Works Everyday Luxuries kind of like dupe collection. This collection came out a few weeks ago at this point. Oops, I just hit my tripod on accident. I apologize. Um, it came out a few weeks ago at this point and I'm very behind doing reviews. But when I do these one-off reviews, I wanna make sure that I have time to wear the product for at least a day. So I finally got a chance to wear another one. So we're gonna be reviewing On The Horizon. This one is supposed to be a dupe or close to the Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani. And there's also one that it's possibly a dupe of, I think Set Sail by Replica. I don't have that one, but I do have this teeny, 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 tiny little vial of Aqua Di Gio so I can actually compare it to the real thing. So this one is On The Horizon. I love the blue of this packaging. This is Watery Bergamot, Blue Lotus, and Driftwood Moss. And I've said this in all my other videos, the quality control in this collection is really bad. Like that does not line up. There's a gap. The gold pieces aren't lined up. This one is actually probably my better looking one because there's just one seam here. But some of my other ones, the seam is straight down the middle. And like I've said in my other review videos, um, it's not giving luxury, right? Like if you're trying to like do things as like a luxuries line and say they're luxuries, and then there's like random seams on the label. That doesn't look the greatest. But anyways, I'm gonna stop with that right now because I've said that in every one of these videos. But if you're interested in hearing my other thoughts, you can check out the link to my reviews um, playlist down in the description below. But yes, I put this one on about nine o'clock this morning. And when I came downstairs, my husband was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. So he likes this one. Um, unfortunately, I did not like this one. It was pretty strong though. I noticed it completely like dissipate by like 1.30. When I first sprayed it, it was like intoxicatingly strong. It was like, ooh, that is strong. But this is kind of like more of a masculine scent and that's not always my vibe. I don't remember what I ranked this in my original rankings, but it's definitely gonna go a little bit lower on my final rankings video, which will come after I do a video on all of these. But if you're curious on how I spray the products, let me show you. Just like that, I don't know, is that a lot? I'm not sure, um, but that's how much I spray. And uh, like right now, it's like, ooh, it's so strong on first spray. I get more of like an alcohol kind of scent, but it does dissipate after a few minutes and it does die down a little bit after a few minutes. Um, for me, this is like a woodsy kind of fresh aquatic kind of scent. But unfortunately on my skin, I just, I don't like this one. This is not a scent for me. It's just a little too masculine for me. You really get that like um, driftwood moss note, which I'm not a huge, huge fan of, but it was super long lasting. I mean, all of the scents in this collection are very long lasting and it just shows just because you, you can only afford a fine fragrance mist doesn't mean you can't smell good all day. I know there's this like huge stigma around Bath and Body Works and it's like that they're not like as good as high-end perfumes. I don't have like any high-end perfumes in my collection. You guys see this on my Bath and Body Works and I always get compliments on how I smell. So yeah, I just wanted to throw, throw that in there. But again, scent is subjective. So for me, this one's not my favorite, but for you, this might be your favorite. And that's like my favorite thing about fragrance is this might be the scent for you. But I'm going to compare it to the Aqua Di Gio scent. So this Giorgio Armani, Armani scent is targeted towards a male audience because it says for men. But this one has notes of citrus, aromatic, marine, fresh, spicy, floral, woody, and fresh. Um, I'm just reading off of Fragrantica. That's one of my favorite uh, websites to find is scent notes. But I just have this little teeny tiny vial. I don't even know when I got this. Um, but I'm going to spray it on my arm here. Gonna let it dry down. Hmm. 
I know this collection is like supposed to be inspired by fragrances. I think that's what like their um, marketing says in the store. But, hmm. This is the right one, correct? Okay, let me look. Let me just make sure on the horizon. Bath and Body Works. I'm pretty sure people have said it was this Aqua de Gio scent. But to be honest, I'm not... I'm not getting that aqua de Gio. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I don't know. That's what I've seen. Maybe it smells more like um, the set sale, but I don't have that. But let me spray on the horizon on this arm. Let it dry down. I, okay, they're similar, but on the horizon is like more like of a bright kind of scent. The Aqua de Gio has that like men's cologne, like signature, like blanket scent in it. I, I don't know what to call it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, I don't know. They're definitely similar, but they're definitely not spot on dupes for me. I don't know, I'm trying to see if like, if like it's not the dupe of this Giorgio Armani scent, but that's what I saw on TikTok. Um, oh my gosh, okay, now I'm, I'm gonna need to keep looking it up because I I swear someone said it was the Aqua Di Gio and to me, they don't sound similar, they don't sound, they don't smell similar at all. I don't know, let's see here. Okay, here's another one um, that someone said it smells like is Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. I don't have that one. Um, the only one I have it that I can compare it to is the Aqua de Gio, and that's what everyone says. I don't know. I don't know. To me, they're like, they're similar, but like, I wouldn't call it a dupe. There's something like super like pungent in this one and it's more of like a deeper scent and like the Bath and Body Works one, it's like more of like a kind of a bright scent and more like watery than this one. I don't know, what do you guys think? Have you guys smelled the Aqua Di Gio? Is this one not supposed to be a dupe of Aqua Di Gio? I had a list um, that someone had posted on TikTok and they said it was Aqua Di Gio, but I don't know, to me it does not smell like Aqua Di Gio, but whatever. Um, at the end of the day, this unfortunately is not the scent for me, but that is okay. I'm sure someone out there loves the scent, but for me, to be honest, it's probably like a six out of 10. Yeah, a six out of 10, not a fan, but that's okay. I'm sure someone out there is a fan, but yeah, that is all for today's video and kind of comparison of Aqua Di Gio. And on the horizon from Bath and Body Works. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What if you guys enjoyed today's video? Make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Are these supposed to be dupes of each other or not? Let me know. And if you like seeing my face, Bath and Body Works fragrance or Disney content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you. Helps me out so so much. And you guys can change your mind later. Thanks again, guys, for watching today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.